here at uh, Bellinger Estates Tasting Room and Warriors Rest Vineyard. This is, I would say, kind of a high pressure site uh, for birds and we have a lot of neighbors here. We're really close to town. Uh, I didn't want to have a cannon. I didn't want to have a bird alarm uh, that's really loud. Prior to the laser, we would net uh, the whole vineyard. Uh, we did just one side, but even that was uh, several hundred dollars an acre just in labor. It was a pretty, it was a fairly small vineyard, five acres of bearing fruit, but pretty significant investment in uh, labor every year for bird netting. In August, we'll start to hear the starlings like flock up in these trees and it can just be a cacophony, it can be really loud. Uh, once we start the laser, I get the sense they just don't like it, they don't want to be around it, and they, they generally just leave. They can come in and like hover a little bit, but then they, they don't really land and feed in the vineyard. There's still birds around, but the damage, uh, at least in my experience in the last couple years, is greatly, greatly reduced. Cedar waxwings, uh, obviously starlings, sparrows, um, blue jays. The thing I like about the laser, it's kind of set it and forget it, and then I don't have to worry, oh, I saw a bird. Oh, is that the beginning of a big invasion? It made the time before harvest relaxing. I'm very happy with the results. To me, this is it's just a really progressive, um, and I think very ecological, sustainable way of controlling birds. Certainly where you've got a lot of neighbors, certainly where you have a lot of pressure or a high value crop to protect, I think it makes a lot of sense. Even at five acres, soon to be nine acres, I think it pays for itself. Thank you.